Now, um, welcome Will to the stage, and yeah, we need to check uh, because we haven't prepared. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that works. That's good. Uh, and your presentation, second level update. Uh. Yay! Perfect. Can we? Oh, uh, I shouldn't have done this. Is this working? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Yay! Perfect. Is this, is this yeah, okay? That's going to be okay, good. welcome, Will. <laughs> yeah. So y they, they they removed my mic, so I've got this one. No. <laughs> Please don't DDoS the machine while I do my demo. That would be nice. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> is that? Yeah, that works. Oh. oh. Yay, perfect. Look at that. So, hi, I'm Will. Um, I'm here to present you uh, a work of uh, Vincent Bernard, which is called... Yeah, that's a bit terrible. Let's see if we can do something there. Ooh, no, no. Terrible. Sorry about that. Nope. Well, okay, whatever. We will succeed eventually. <gasps> ah, I hate Windows. Oh, did I say that aloud? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's a tool that was developed by uh, uh, Vincent Bernard and the Free.fr uh, uh, ISP team. Um, and so. So basically, I'm this guy there. You might have seen me around. Uh, and I'm presenting the work from someone else. So don't shoot me. I'm just a preacher. And uh, so for those who already tried to deploy Agvorado, uh, read the documentation and read the troubleshooting guides. They are really good. I've got some kind of an agenda here. And let's go and say. So Agvorado, what it is, it's uh, Agvorado receives flow, NetFlow IP fix, NSflow, enriches them with the interface name using SNMP, geo information using MaxMind, and exports them to Kafka, then ClickHouse, and it exposes a web interface uh, to browse the collected data. I did some work before um, uh, preparing like the, the, the uh, install itself, uh, I prepared my router so it will send uh, flows uh, to the Aquarado host. I will call it like that, the collection host. And I modified some parameters for Docker so it will uh, use a, a volume where I got space uh, uh, on that. And I use and I did a small script that doing the deploy that you saw on the uh, right hand side, and it's really simple. And I'm not a coder. Uh, I'm just like a, a bad scripter. So. The script will be available. If you've got improvements, you're welcome to suggest them. So, what's my... What? Okay. What? <laughs> no. Oh, it's my earring. Oh, sorry. I can remove them. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> so what my script does, yeah, I'm moving too much, sorry, I'm excited, you know. Um, what my script does, it moves into the Agvorado directory that I defined, it removes some of the demo parameters, and then it modifies the community so it matches the one of my router, routers. It insert, uh, inserts a default template rate, and then uh, some export filter so it makes a, f a nice... Uh, uh, collection views, and so it's start like Florida. So it should have worked there. So, words of advice: if you try that, read the freaking manual. Um, 
and forget everything you think about the old NFSN way where you need to do your collection thingy with your interface name and the source. And No, that's terrible. It's really, really simple. I really modified like five lines into three files. So that's really, really simple. Requirement, you need your Agvorado host to reach SNMP to your routers. That's kind of obvious, and also the flow to come in. And it doesn't take that much storage. So for instance, at work, uh, we use that, and we've been collecting since uh, November 222. We don't have that much traffic, and we collect that 1.24, uh, uh, 1, uh, 1,000 um, uh, packets rate, and we stored only 22 gigs. Uh, it's uh, time series uh, storage, so that's how we reduce the older data and so on. And on my lab, uh, I all, only collected 24 gig, so that's really, really, really nothing. And I'm doing 10 megs of traffic with um, with 1.10 uh, ratio there. Uh, um, Vincent told me his numbers, I don't remember them uh, for free, and so they don't need that much storage either. So, okay. Demo, it's there. Let me see if that works. Yeah, I'm ambitious, you know. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I was fast then. Okay, let let him collect stuff. So, and I've got links there because obviously my scripts are available, so you will be able to uh, to uh, to download them and uh, reuse them and see how they work. And in theory, it should work. We should get some flows that uh, appear uh, in some time, not so long. And basically, uh, I'm almost done. If nothing, yeah, that's the failover shot. <laughs> if something happens, you can generate nice graph with like uh, your uh, ASN, destiny is ASN, where the traffic is, go is coming from, uh, what interface it's, uh, what router it was taking, if it's transit, if it's peering, and that's like ultra simple to do. Uh, and it really took me, basically, well, it took me some time to understand the principle because it was so simple. And so that's the, uh, that's the idea. So I'll get back to, you to the links there. And uh, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, because I don't have anything else to show here because it's not yet available. No, not yet. So I should have more collection data. As soon as I get some fluids there, it will be up, but since they're not there, you've got the failover slide. Sorry about that. And basically, I'm four minutes ahead. And three, yeah, okay. So, and because it's a lightning talk, you won't get any questions. You can come and bug me later on if you want. I, I'm, I'm okay to take any, some questions here and there, but it's, uh, that's not the goal, so we can catch up our time there. Thank you very much, Will.